while most farmers in urban areas are preoccupied with kitchen gardening, a Nairobi farmer is reaping handsome returns from livestock farming. Meet Francis Washira, who has turned a small space of land in Makadara into a thriving farm. His carefully managed farm has attracted attention from far and wide. Recently, he was called upon to go to the U.S. on an exchange program. During the exchange program, he had an opportunity to demonstrate to various people from the first world countries that success in urban farming is achievable. Why come to Kenya? And we think you are world developed. As you say, Kenya is a developing nation. Lakini wakaniambia, a Germany, they think they have money, so they have no business doing farming. But the question comes, Karo, are you sure of what you are buying when you go to the supermarket? Would you distinguish either boga ya, 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 ya sewage na either boga ya kawaita? So, wakati unarima boga zako ama unaeka sukura yako kama hii, you are very sure of what you are eating. Nimeficha yani kwa maredio ya Kenya karibu yote, TV za Kenya hata ije hata leo kuna watu wananipigia from outside na wananipigia tunaogea na wao live wakitaka kujua mambo ya urban farming the challenge and all the rest His farm is one of a kind stocked with different kinds of domestic animals and birds on a row of houses that he has built for rent, Washira has made petitions to host hundreds of rabbits, over 15 dairy goats, several guinea pigs, chicken and geese. His choice of farming is unique and that is what makes him stand out. He came up with the idea after attending a training session on urban farming. Even though his first idea did not kick off as expected, Washira decided to venture into agribusiness. The same week, the area MP convened a meeting encouraging people to embrace agribusiness. His selling point was rabbit keeping, and these two incidents influenced his decision to keep rabbits. Kura hii my main project na nilianza tu kama kidogo kidogo tu mimi sikuwa nafikiria mambo ya sukura ikawa huko uchaguni nilikuwa naweka sukura zile za kienyeji kienyeji lakini kuna siku nilisikia kuna masomo huko kamete na nikaenda huko kamete wakati nilienda huko kamete hiyo chaba ilikuwa ya former MP now is marehem alikuwa afoma MP wa Ebakasi wakcha mweje alikuwa anaitwa Esra Joka na wakati nilienda huko tukachijua nyama ya sukura tukachijua hizo boga mmeona huko mureda sageti hizo zote kasikia mtamu so swali ile ikuja kwa akili yangu kama a whole MP can keep rabbit who am I not to keep them so nilikuja bio nikaenda kwa ule mzee nikanunua sukura mbili na nikakuja nikaweka siku anajua hata namna ya kusijekea siku ana information yoyote so nilikuwa napatia majani kama tu watu ya kawaida na nikaanza biashara ya kuweka kuweka kumbuka wakati huo siweki sukura ni uze ni zangu za kukula as time went by washira diversified into dairy goats geese guinea pigs and chicken farming Pia nikaendelea nikachika mnyama anaitwa mbuzi. Mhm. Mm Kwa 
maziwa mm-hmm. Buzi pia si kuanza ni kifikiria ati siku moja itaesa kuwa ni biashara mm-hmm. Niliweka buzi moja ya boma yangu mm-hmm. Lakini mwichoe maziwa ikawa mingi mm-hmm. Ikawa ni ya kuuza Na ikafika saa hii ni kuuza ni kuuza Uyo mnyama tena naitu wa Ginepig mm-hmm. Nilienda kutembea huko pandi ya Kisumu Nikienda wakati nilikuwa nimealikwa na watu ya Kisumu mm-hmm. niende niwafundishe mambo ya urban farming mm-hmm. na wakati nilitembea bahari inaitwa Manyata Manyata is like Kibera ama Madare mm-hmm. Slam mm-hmm. nikakuta watu wako na hii mnyama na nikamwauliza hii mnyama unafanya mm-hmm. naye nini mm-hmm. akaniambia ni nyama mm-hmm. na wakati waliniambia hivyo mm-hmm. nikasema kama niko na kuku mm-hmm. na sugura mm-hmm. hata hii nitaweka na nitakudisha watu Nikaanza kutafuta, tikina nikanunua huko kusumu mm-hmm. Tikina simetoka ukambani, wanaita kasiri ukambani mm-hmm. Tikina nimetoa huko kakamega, mm-hmm. wanaita anyuru mm-hmm. Na tikina nimetoa huko kikuyuni, haza huko padi ya nyeri, inaitwa kanyuru mm-hmm. So, hii pia ni project that I'm growing, uh, growing up Hoping one day, watu pia watakula Lakini juzi nilipata kwa hoteli fulani lakini nikamwambia sina ya kutosha. Mm-hmm. Kuku pia mm-hmm. ninakumbuka ninunua pale Mwea. Waliwa wetu Embu and and Nyeri. Mm-hmm. Nikanunua kuku mbili mm-hmm. na jogo moja. In the past, very few people especially in urban areas knew about the benefits of rabbit meat. But this is gradually changing. This is evident in the stable market he has eventually secured with the leading supermarket. Watu walikuwa wanajua nyama ni ya ngombe, ya mbuzi, hiyo ndio nyama ile walikuwa. Watu wanajua nyama ya sukura na ya mbuzi. So nikasema kama watu walifundishwa kula kuku na kama na wakakubali, hata mimi naweza kufundisha watu kuga sukura na siku moja iwe ni biashara. Na kwa hivyo nikaanza kuweka sukura. Nilianza na sukura kidogo kama sukura ina hivi. Nikaendelea nikifuga in fact, we can multiply it up to almost a hundred. That's why you book at a sina soko. Later on, the Kaederean, the Wakatini, the Soma, the Kaseman, the Taweka, the Fika Miyatano, the Yenjeba, the Fika Yo Miyatano, the Wakati, the Fika Miyatano, the Onipaniki, and the Kamata Soko, the Haskis supermarket, the Wakaku Jahapa, the Wakaona, the project in the Guri, the Wakaipeda, the Wakani Paonda, the Kansa, the Branchi, Kidogo Kidogo. Kaida to be a there. Say we have all the supermarkets in around in Nairobi. We are supplying them with the rabbit meat and some other hotels which are upcoming. The price of one rabbit ranges from 700 shillings to 1,000 shillings depending on the size. In a good season, he can sell over 100 rabbits in one day. With this kind of demand, Washira has become an agent between the farmers keeping rabbits and the market. The same goes for the guinea pigs. Mi huwa nanulia wakulipo. Sukura naletewa sinatoka Bukoma, sinatoka huko pandi ya Meru, sinatoka hata pandi ya Mombasa, sinatoka Central Province, sinatoka Lefty Valley, all over Kenya. Kwa hivyo siya tinausa sukura zangu, mi huwa ni market na tapia wakulipo. Tuliana sana Greenspan, kachinja mm-hmm. sukura tano, mm-hmm. kufika Friday, sikawa simeisha. Mm-hmm. Made wakaitisha ikine kumi, mm-hmm. ikakuliwa. Mm-hmm. Wakaitisha kumi na tano, tukatoka hapo tukaeda ebakasi. Mm-hmm. Ebakasi vyo ilipiki haraka sana. Tuliana sana sukura kumi, mm-hmm. kumi na tano, ikafika sukura teradini pa week. Mm-hmm. So, kutoka hapo tumekua tuki spread mm-hmm. all, the, all the branches. Mm-hmm. Na kutoka hapo, his dairy goats supply him with enough milk for his domestic use as well as for sale. Goat milk is known for its cholesterol free value and power to boost the immune system. For these two reasons, it sells at a higher price as compared to cow milk. From the goats, he gets over 15 liters a day which he sells at close to 200 shillings a litre. Yeah. It improves their immune system. Mm-hmm. So in Masiwa, mm-hmm. it has a lot of calcium, it has a lot of protein mm-hmm. and vitamins. Yeah. 
Yeah. So we see compare masiwa ya mbuzi mm -hmm. na ngombe na tena mm -hmm. masiwa ya mbuzi haina cholesterol. Mm -hmm. And if at all it has mm -hmm. very low. Okay. Mimi nikiwa na mbuzi yangu tano inipa lita 2 ni pata lita 10. Mm -hmm. Hata nikiuza 100. Mm -hmm. Si unaona niko na giri? Yes. Nani ameshoka? So getting specific feeds and veterinary services for his stock is a hurdle that a farmer faces many times. Challenge yigina ni chakura. Hatuna wale watu wanategeneza hii chakura wegi wako na ujuzi ya kutegeneza chakura. So unakuta ukipatia hii chakura, chakura yako inaanza kukufa. Kwa chakura, it's very delicate. Na hii chachi kwa na ugojwa, hatuna dawa. Ile utaeda kwa agrofeti ati uabue hii diyo dawa utanuniwa. Ni kama vila ni nikuambia. Daktari ama wale mafeti ma, ma nari atakuambia paka na sukura ni saizi moja. So dosi ya, ya, ya paka di atapatia sukura yako. Lakini vile ni mekana hui umnyama. Achango jeka inamiche kichwa chini. Kuja kumulizaiti amuke inakuwa ngagumu sana. So kitu mzuri ni kumechua keje zako siko clean all the time. To fully maximize on land use, he has planted crops that can feed rabbits, goats, and guinea pigs. Apart from these plants, the farm is regent with an assortment of fruit trees and vegetables. For instance, at the corner of this farm stands a Brazilian cherry tree with red cherries hanging from every branch. Beneath this beautiful tree are herbal plants such as mint leaves and other exotic vegetables from Mozambique and South Africa. Other fruits on his farm include mangoes, popos, thorn melon and pumpkins among others. Looking at his farm, it is easy to see he has a passion for farming. His advice for farmers is that they should go for what they are passionate about. So, chita hile, maybe wale wa, 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 watu wege wa, wanafanya ni kwamba, anafanya kasi kwa zaoku anaona karo anafanya, ama ule mgini anafanya. Lakini yenye mwajiulizi, pacho ni yangu, ama kore ni yangu, kama hile mapasta wanasema ni kore ni ya mungu, kore ni yako ni gani. Some people may be afraid to rear animals within an urban setting due to social restrictions. Nevertheless, Washira assures them that the law does not prohibit it, as long as one maintains cleanliness and a suitable environment for the animals. Labda mtu kama hataki kulima, lakini ukitaka kulima, hakuna mtu anakukataza. Bola uweke usafi. Uwezi kuweka ngombe alabu kenyesi unatawa pale kwa barabara unaweke ya watu. Uweke ya guruwe na uweki usafi kwa boma yako. Yes. Ukiweka usafi hakuna mtu watakukatasa. Najua watu wajasomo wajua kwa nini KWS wanambia watu upate kibarua. Ni ya kuja haone mjeko yako. Unaweka hile standard. Unaweka hiyo kamunyama kakai vila kangekaa huko mustuni. 